What's going on you guys? I hope you guys are all having a great morning, evening, or afternoon, whenever you guys may be watching this video. Today, we get another part install. Now, it's not gonna be an appearance mod. It's not any uh, engine mods or anything like that. It's actually a part that's gonna help me functionality-wise while whenever I'm driving the car, um, whether I'm trying to find a location on how to get somewhere, or if I'm trying to talk to someone on the phone, or even just listening to music. Today's video is gonna be uh, how to install wireless CarPlay for your car. I wanna give a huge shout out over to One Car Stereo for sending this product over for me to test out and review on my GR86. This product works not only on my 86, but works for pretty much any car that comes with Apple CarPlay. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do now is get it unboxed and I'll show you guys what's inside. All right, so upon first opening up the one car stereo package, we are of course greeted with the Smart AI box. This is the module that of course will be turning our wired CarPlay to wireless. As you guys can see, the module itself is relatively small, so you can pretty much fit it anywhere that you have a USB connector inside your vehicle. The module itself actually comes with two different types of cords to ensure that you will be able to get it powered on and connected as soon as you get it plugged in. So with that being said, let's grab everything that we're going to need and get it installed. First things first, you're gonna go ahead and get all these different wires <laughs> that unfortunately do not work anymore because of this Apple CarPlay from me always having to jam them into my phone whenever I'm trying to drive and hurry up and trying to get the CarPlay to turn back on. I'm always trying to jam them in or they always get caught whenever I'm trying to close <laughs> this thing. It always gets caught in here. So these wires ultimately just, they, they don't work anymore. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get everything cleared out. That way we can get the new module plugged in. All right guys, so upon first opening up the box, let me go ahead and get it opened up for you guys. There's gonna be the, of course, like I showed you guys before, there's gonna be the two different connectors, the one, the C and USB B connector, I'm pretty sure. So go ahead, get this plugged in where we would normally have everything plugged in for the normal wired car play. And then we would just go ahead and just plug this into the module right here. So let me go ahead and get this plugged in, just like so. I'm just gonna put it right over here, out of the way. And it's as simple as literally just closing that up, you guys. And now we'll go ahead and get the car turned on and get my phone connected up to it. That way we can uh, turn on the wireless CarPlay. Now that we got everything plugged in, what I'm gonna go ahead and do now is turn on the car. Just wait for it to, of course, boot up and everything. And then after a few seconds of sitting here, the, uh, the module will up on the bottom of it, as you guys can probably see right there blinking waiting for it to turn on once you guys see this message come up on the screen right here you're just gonna press don't show again and enable CarPlay just like so now the CarPlay should be enabled what you're gonna want to do now just like so <laughs> oh, you guys that's so sick all right what you guys are gonna do now is just go on your phone go over to settings Bluetooth allow new connections you're gonna go down yeah, look at all these different uh, <laughs> Bluetooth connections I got you guys. This is from working at a Lexus dealership. So you're gonna see the smart AI box right there. You're just gonna press connect and it's gonna come up with this little code on the screen. You're just gonna press pair. Allow all contacts to sync. Now everything should be fully connected as you guys can see right here. So now that we got everything connected up on the phone, I'll go show you guys the uh, interface. It completely changes the look of how it looks from factory, which I think is so sick. It, I really love the way this thing looks, honestly. Um, this is like the factory, how it normally looks. If you guys were to have a, a GR86 or a B or Z, this, you guys would know this is how it normally looks. Once you go ahead and press Apple CarPlay, it gives you into this whole new interface. If you press the screen right here and press this little circle button, it comes up with these different options. So if I were to, I don't know, press YouTube right here and then press on the screen real quick, I can, oops, Go like this press the button and actually just go back home if i really wanted to um in order to get youtube and netflix to work i've been told that you guys actually need to turn on the hotspot on your phone so go ahead and go in like this going to settings on your phone personal hotspot and all you got to do is just enable your hotspot to turn on that way it allows others to join you can go ahead and go to settings from there you go to wi-fi you wait for the mobile 
hotspot to show up on the actual Wi-Fi itself. You go ahead and just click this. I would put the password in. All right, you guys, now that we got everything connected up, I'm gonna go ahead and press on the screen. Just go back to home. Now, if we really wanted to, I can go over to YouTube. <laughs> and as you guys can probably see, all the uh, YouTube is all now up on my uh, infotainment system, which is so sick, you guys. That's so sick. Um, if I really wanted to, I can go over here and I'll show you guys. I don't know, let's just go to my channel, for instance. <laughs> Let me put the channel in. All right, look at this, you guys. Oh, <laughs> that's so sick. All right, let me go to the most recent video. If you guys haven't already watched this video, guys, make sure to go ahead and check it out. Let me uh, turn the radio up a little bit. Dang. And the, um, the system, like the sound is actually really, really nice on this too. That's awesome. I was really worried about, if you guys know, um, when you guys have a connection, kind of like if you guys have like a gaming system or anything like that, when you have the actual connected uh, system in connected into like either like the internet or the uh, system itself, uh, it tends to have better audio and uh, internet quality. I was a little worried about when I put this in my car instead of having the wired car play that it would lag a little bit. But as you guys can probably see in here, it sounds great, it looks great. Even the quality, I mean, the quality itself, let me see what the quality is set at right now. Okay, well, the quality is set at 360. Let me uh, see what it can go. I don't know if this screen can actually even do 1080p or not, but let's go ahead and see. Oh yeah, it looks great, you guys, look at this. <laughs> That is so sick. I've never had a car where I've been able to watch videos or go on Netflix or do anything while I'm in the car. Not that, I'm, not that it's a good idea. I, I would not advise you guys do this while you're trying to drive. It's very unsafe, but it's really just a cool feature to have. Honestly, if you're just kind of like, you know, sitting in uh, traffic or I don't know if you guys are just sitting in like waiting for someone or something, so you can just pull up Netflix or YouTube and just sit back and relax and just Enjoy time in your car, honestly. And it makes it so much easier, you guys, because now I don't have to worry about having my phone connected through uh, wired and having the cord get messed up or it disconnecting whenever I may be driving. And uh, it's a really big problem because whenever I'm going to like car meets or maybe going to go buy a new part, like and I'm in an area where I'm not used to, my phone will automatically just sometimes just disconnect on me and I'm having a, I don't know what exit I need to get off on and it just, <laughs> it makes it a really big inconvenience. So honestly, having this feature, this whole wired or wireless CarPlay, I should say, just makes it so much nicer because I don't have to deal with any issues or have any worries about my phone getting disconnected when I'm driving. So another really cool feature is if you guys were to press on the screen right here, just click on this little circle right here and go to this little taskbar. It actually pops up with all the recent tabs that you guys had open. If you really wanted to, you can just go to clear all like that and all the tabs have been cleared. Another really cool feature that is if you click all apps right here, it actually shows you all the different features that it comes with. YouTube, Apple Music, Netflix, Play Store, um, Bluetooth phone, Bluetooth music, it's got gallery. If you click gallery, this is actually, I'm pretty sure like the background. So if I were to press, I don't know, this one looks pretty nice. Go ahead and press this right here. And this will be set as the background now, which is pretty cool. Let's go back to home screen. And um, honestly, you guys, it just makes it, like I said before, just so much more convenient whenever you guys may be in the car uh, driving somewhere that way you guys don't have to worry about your phone becoming disconnected and honestly I could <laughs> I could put this thing anywhere now I don't have to keep it in my box right here and just close it up. I could leave it on my seat um, Put it inside my door card right here, which is nice I could have it honestly anywhere now instead of just keeping it plugged in right here so it makes this super convenient for everyone honestly not just 86 BRZ owners but for everyone who may be interested in having CarPlay in their car I'll play some non-copyrighted music for you guys. That way you guys can hear the quality of the audio um, while this thing is plugged in. I know that's probably a lot of concerns for you guys, so I'll go ahead and press play. Turn the uh, AC off and turn it off. Yeah, it sounds really nice, you guys. You got the bass and everything. It sounds great, honestly. get everything connected to um, it actually boots up really really quickly um, 
When you first initially pair your phone to the uh, device, it usually takes about a minute or so just for it to actually recognize your phone and everything. But once you get it fully connected, um, the second time or what, however long after, um, it actually boots up almost instantly, which is really nice. And there you have it, you guys. That's literally as simple as that. It's honestly <laughs> just plugging this module into the USB. I know you guys really didn't need an install video on this, but I figured I'd make a video for you guys anyways, just because of how useful this uh, wireless CarPlay really is gonna be for me and for honestly everyone. Um, I know it's not just 86 and BRZ owners that have this issue. I know uh, since 2014 when the uh, CarPlay initially came out, I know every single car that's featured CarPlay since then has had issues with the uh, phone getting disconnected um, through wired CarPlay. So this feature of having wireless should just make life honestly so much easier whenever I'm driving this car and should make it just so much more relaxing honestly that way I don't have to worry about my phone getting disconnected whenever I may be driving somewhere or you know trying to listen to music. So it just makes it so much more convenient. I just want to give a huge shout out again to uh, One Car Stereo for sending over this wireless CarPlay product for me to test out and review on my 86 for you guys. Um, like I said before this is not just for the 86 and BRZ, this works for so many different vehicles out there. Um, all you guys gotta do is just go over to the One Car Stereo website, which is gonna be on the screen right here, and just let them know some of the information about your vehicle, like the model and everything like that, and they will actually tell you guys whether or not this product will work for your car. Um, if you guys are interested in purchasing one of these, I will actually leave a link right down here on the screen for 5% off in case you guys are interested in purchasing one for your car. Um, I would highly advise you guys go ahead and do that. Um, it's like I said, it's so helpful to have this instead of having to deal with the millions of wired cords that are going to get broken. <laughs> all these different cords for a wired car play. I just I don't have to deal with any of that anymore. All I got to do is just have this module plugged in, close the box. And I got nothing to worry about now. All right, you guys. I literally had to just go change my shirt real quick. I've been out here for five minutes, maybe at most, just doing this little install for you guys for the uh, wireless CarPlay. And I can't tell you how sweaty I literally was in five minutes. My shirt was literally drenched. I don't know if you guys could tell or not on video, but I, I had to change my shirt. Um, if you guys watched some of my recent videos, you guys would uh, know that I recently got some carbon fiber front fins and some carbon fiber fins for the rear taillights as well. It's probably been like three or four videos now, honestly. But um, if you guys can tell, I actually don't have the front fins on the car. I know some of you guys have been asking or like wondering where the pieces were at. Um, no, they haven't broke. Um, I kind of honestly just took them off the car because I didn't want anything to happen with them. I actually have them sitting right over here. That way they wouldn't get all messed up. Um, the reason why I took them off the car, honestly, was because when I first initially installed the pieces on the car, I kind of didn't do a really great job wiping this bottom piece down right here. And when I stuck them onto the, uh, this little garnish piece, um, the, the tops, the, this whole part right here stuck on the car completely fine. It was not budging at all, but Sometimes when I was going fast enough, like like close, uh, cl kind of close to 100, <laughs> um, this little under piece right here would kind of start flapping just because, like I said, I didn't really clean this off. And you guys, if you guys are ever installing anything with 3M, make sure to, of course, clean the surface down before. That's that's my fault, honestly. This it wasn't the product's fault at all. Um, I, I, like I said, I didn't have any issues with this part right here because I got a good clean surface on the top. I just forgot to do the bottom part right here. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is, I just took them off the car as you guys can <laughs> probably see. I'm gonna have to get the 3M that's on the back of this. It's on there like really, really good. I'm gonna have to try and get this scraped off. And then I went and got some new thick roll of 3M. That way I should have any issues. And <laughs> this time, of course, make sure to get everything cleaned and wipe down properly. That way I don't have to run into any issues with them falling off or have any issues with them whatsoever. So I'll go ahead, get all the 3M taken off the back of the carbon pieces and I'll get some new 3M laid on the back and I'll show you guys me installing them. I can already tell how this process is gonna go. 
Oh my gosh. I kid you not. <laughs> it's literally been probably an hour since the last clips that you guys had seen. Um, I got all the 3M off as best as I could. Literally, it's not even perfect still, but I, I, I don't, I can't get any more off. I've like tried scraping. I've done everything I possibly could to get as much of it off as I possibly can. Um, this is probably gonna have to do for now. So what I'll do is I'll get this 3M taping unboxed and uh, I'll lay a new strip all the way around, kind of similar to how they had it for factory on the uh, pieces. And then before I do that, I'll of course <laughs> make sure I clean this properly. That way we don't run any issues with this coming or getting unstuck from the bumper. So I'll go ahead, get this cleaned off really quickly on both sides and um, I'll go ahead and get the uh, 3M laid onto the carbon pieces. After about, I don't know, 30 minutes of um, cutting out new 3M to lay it onto the uh, carbon pieces, I finally got both of them stuck back onto the car. They look so good. I honestly forgot how good these things look because like I stated, um, these things have been off for probably like close to a month now, honestly. I just haven't had the time to go to the store to purchase some new 3M tape. Um, but they're on now. They don't. They don't feel like they're going <laughs> going anywhere. They look so good. I love how these things look. Honestly, they just make the car in the front end just look so much more aggressive, and they kind of match obviously the all the rest of the carbon <laughs> that's on the car and the rear taillight pieces. So I'm just, I'm super happy that I was able to get these things back onto the car. If you guys notice, these are the NTO3s that are off my brother's SI. Um, he's actually considering getting new wheels. Um, so take your guesses down below what kind of wheels you think he's gonna put on his S side. I'm curious as to what you guys think he's gonna go with. Once again, I just wanna give a huge shout out to One Car Stereo for sending over these uh, wireless CarPlay for me to test out on my car. Um, I absolutely love how it sounds, how it looks. It's honestly so helpful, like I stated before, not having to worry about the whole situation with <laughs> a bunch of wires and it just makes it so much more convenient honestly whenever you may be driving in your car going somewhere with that being said i hope you guys enjoyed the little i don't know like five minute little install of how to get the wireless carplay put onto your car and um, i hope you guys enjoyed the little reinstallation process pretty much of the front carbon pieces because I know I already had them on the car before but I wanted to just get them thrown back on because I know a lot of you guys have been asking why they haven't been on the car. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you did or found it helpful in any way, please make sure to give it a like down below. Um, it helps me out so much. Subscribe if you guys are new. That way you guys can stay up to date on all the content that I'm always putting out. Um, I have a goal. I'm trying to hit a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. So if you guys aren't already subscribed, please make sure you guys hit that subscribe button to help me reach my goal. Um, Leave a comment down below what kind of video ideas you guys would like to see next. Um, I'm always reading all the comments and I'm always replying to all of them. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Take care. Peace.